Andreas Giorgio here for MMA Plus backstage at TML. Liam Harrison, pretty good performance out there tonight, if you'd say myself. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> steady away. Um, Spanish guy where he was pretty big foot weight and he was pretty tough. Um, after round two, I think I realised that he wasn't quite on my level. I fight again in five weeks, mm. so I thought it'd best to not take any chances, not try and go to war with him because he was a big, strong guy. I thought I'll just win on points, just coast through get out with no injuries and I'm fresh to go fight again in five weeks now. Yeah, no, fantastic. I mean, first round you really showed your intention straight away. You slammed him on his neck like <laughs> twice and it did seem like, you know, he took a little bit of a knock, but he came, he kept pushing forward though. Credit to him throughout the rest of the rounds. It was a tough guy to be fair. Uh, my, I, the, when I did let him, some venom go in my shots, so there was solid and he felt him, but he shook him off and he, he kept coming, he kept trying. Um, but like I said, I, I've had a, a more fights than him. I just thought I'd use my experience, mm. just course through, win on points and not get injured. Yeah, That's what I'm going to talk about. We were just kind of talking about it off camera there, but you've been fighting the best guys in the world for quite a few years now. And I don't mean it as a disrespect to your opponent, but this was an easier fight tonight. Do you feel you needed that at this point? Um, yeah, it's always nice to get uh, to not be involved in a ridiculous war every now and yeah. again because that's what a lot of my fights do turn into. Um, but like I say, sometimes you do have to fight smart. Um, I'm defending my world title in just, I think, five weeks. Yeah. So I, I didn't want to go into yeah. that all banged up and like struggle through training. I want to be fresh. Um, it's my job at the end of the day, so I need to fight smart. Um, yeah, I do, I do make, need to make money as well, so I need yeah. to keep fighting regular. And especially now I'm older, I don't, if I get injured, it takes a little bit, I'm 31 now, it takes a little bit longer for me yeah. to recover. So I can't be getting involved in ridiculous, as much as the, I do want to do it sometimes for the crowd <laughs> and the fans, and I know they love it, but sometimes I've got to look out for myself and fight yeah. smart, and like I did tonight. Yeah, of course, it was a very smart performance and you got the decision nod. Looking back, you know, before this, it was Pinker, and that was a really tough fight because a lot of people are saying Pinker's now arguably one of the best pound-for-pound -pound guys in the world. Pinker's the best for a foreigner on the planet outside mm. Ireland, and he's, next week he's fighting for Roger Damner's title, so he's going to he's up there with the tides yeah. as well. He, so he's, he's no mug, do you know what I mean? Yeah, he's, no, he's the best, he is the best. You've, you've come on a really crazy journey, and you know, I do the podcast with Vinny, and you know, we always do talk about yeah. you because I know that you're someone very close to his heart, and, and the journey of Liam Harrison continues to progress. For you, do you feel at this level now, without question, one of the best guys in the UK, if not the best guy pound for pound, do you, did you ever expect it to be at this point for yourself? Um, when I first started out, no, um, but time's flown. Next thing I knew, I had 30 fights. Next thing I had 50, now I've had 105, that'll be 105 tonight. Um, it's, it's, it's just been, it's, the journey has flown, I'm just yeah. trying to enjoy it every step of the way. Um, I do, yeah, I do think I'm the pound, pound the best in the country, along with Jordan Watson from my gym. I think we're, we're the top two guys. It's not about having the odd fight at top level every now and again. It's yeah. about being able to get to the top level. That's easy. Getting there's easy. He's staying there and continuing to do it. The first stadium champion, I thought, well, we're 18, and I still have 31 now, and I'm still fighting at the same level. So that's the main thing, just being able to hold it there at that level. It's easy to get there. A lot of UK fighters have, have got there and have just yeah. disappeared and just dropped off. I've got there 40, 13 years ago and I'm still there now. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about Yokao. It's not far away now, five weeks, I believe. Title fight. Yeah, I'm defending my world title. Um, I will be looking to fight smart on that one. It's my title. I'll, I would rather get carried out of that ring in a stretcher than, lose, than let someone come into my own, my, my own home country and take my title away. It's not going to happen. So mm -hmm. that's why I wanted to fight smart tonight, get out of there with no injuries, yeah. so I can go into that one all guns blazing 100%. Yeah. Who is it again you're fighting? It's a young 19-year-old boy from France. He's won his last 14 fights on row. Beat some good ties in there. Um, he's from the Nasser gym. They're all good, Nasser good, K, very good, good, guys. Hard, good very hard, good, hard, tough fighters. So I, I think it will be a war. Mm -hmm. At this point now, realistically, what's left to achieve, man? You've done it all. I still love fighting, you know what I mean? I, I, I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm not bothered if I win 10 more world titles or if I don't win any, I just want to fight yeah. and keep fighting a good level. As long as I'm enjoying my training and enjoying my fighting, I'll do it till one of my legs drops off. <laughs> that's, that's a great mindset to have. One last thing now. It's the fight that this country, I feel, will be a very big moment to the best guys ever to, to come out of the UK. Charlie Peters, Liam Harrison, and it is happening this year. Mm -hmm. Do you honestly feel that Charlie Peters is on your level? He's proved himself that he's up there, do you know what I mean? He's, um, he's a tough kid, he's earned his shot, he's on a good streak, he's, he's been in there with some good guys. I think he has earned his, earned his shot, no doubt. But on the 15th of July, I will show everyone that he's not on my level, no. But after that, who's left? You, you've wiped them all out. 
I'll just keep going. There'll be some young, fresh meat coming through. Like this kid I'm fighting on your cow, he's 19. Do you know what I mean? There's always yeah. young, good young fighters coming through. As long as I, like I say, as long as I am enjoying my fighting, I'm still able to put on a good show for the fans, I'll be here as long as possible. Liam, another solid performance tonight. Thank you for your time, and we can't wait to see your title fight. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Cheers. Cool.